Northwest. Northwest. I'm Shiloh. And I'm Jaslyn. And we'd like, you, ooh, we'd like, we'd like to, to welcome, welcome you to Titan Connect. Connect. Please stand for the pledge. Put your right hand over your heart and your left hand by your side. Say it with us. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for Jess Koshek. You may be seated. And now for today's announcements. Thursday, there's a home game versus CC Griffin on February 2nd. Be there. Woo! And now for Ms. Andrews. Good morning, Titan family. All right, so I, whoa, a little blurry there. Um, we are going to start a new little mini segment for, uh, for every day during Titan Connect uh, that goes with our positivity project character strength of the week. So this week is social intelligence. Every day our lovely hosts here are going to read um, a greeting and a quote or something like that that goes along with our character strength so that we can make sure that it's infused all the way through the week and so that you don't forget from Monday to Friday what we're working on this week. So enjoy your positivity project quote. There okay. you go. Good morning Northwest. This is Shiloh and Jaslyn with this week's positivity project character strength social intelligence the character strength of social intelligence means that you are aware of other people's thoughts and feelings you understand why they do things what does it look like social intelligence includes a person's ability to understand empathize with and act on the feelings thoughts and behaviors of other people examples of social intelligence includes knowing when to talk to or listen what to say and what to do Remember, a person can demonstrate social intelligence every single day as you go through your day. Be sure to look for opportunities where you can demonstrate the, thing, the strength of social intelligence. And now for Mr. Henson. Mr. Henson! Good morning, Titan family. Hope everybody's enjoying this chilly, rainy Wednesday. So hopefully we'll have a bright, sunshiny day coming again later. Now we're going to jump right into our Wednesday Words of Wisdom for February 1st. It's our, we're already into the month of February. Now I know there's a lot of you chocolate lovers out there. I know you and you and you and you. I'm, I'm sure there's a lot. Today is National Dark Chocolate Day. So if you're like me, you don't need a reason to celebrate dark chocolate. That's actually my favorite. Uh, but it's a great excuse to celebrate it for the day. There's lots of health benefits and it can make you happy. All right, so here's some interesting facts you may not have known about chocolate. Did you know it was actually originally a fermented beverage that was believed to by the Aztecs to be a gift from Quetzalcoatl, their god of wisdom, and it was to give them strength. So they drink it and make them strong. All right, also they gave us the name chocolate, and it came, comes from the word chocolate, which means bitter drink. Now, believe it or not, dark chocolate, not milk chocolate, but dark chocolate is actually a superfood. It has a high percentage of uh, cacao and lower amounts of sugar and milk, and there are lots of health benefits with this superfood. All right, also, Africa provides the world's, the most of the world's cacao beans at approximately two thirds. That's a lot of cacao, which becomes chocolate. And now Americans love chocolate so much that they consume 2.8 billion with a B pounds per year. That's actually 11 pounds per person. So we're lucky we don't turn into those chocolate things like bunnies and all the other things that we have. On a serious note, uh, today begins Black History Month. This is an annual celebration of the achievement of African Americans and a time to recognize their central role in U.S. history. Uh, this was actually came about back in 1976 uh, and every president since then has officially designated this month of February as Black History Month. Even other countries around the world, including Canada and the United Kingdom, devote a month to black history as well. So throughout this month, we'll be celebrating and showcasing different people in black history. Now, I know there's a lot of you out there that love snakes, and some of you, when I say the word snake, it makes your skin crawl, I know. Today's National Serpent Day. Now, this gives snake, snakes and serpents they're slithering do. You know, you guys are in slithering with Harry Potter. Across religions and cultures, the serpent has been used as a symbol of evil, 
medicine, fertility, and so much more. So there's positives and there's negatives. There's over 3,000 species of snakes around the earth. Now you may not know the smallest is the Barbados thread snake. It's actually only about four inches long when it's fully grown. But in comparison, the largest snake is the reticulating python, and the heaviest is the green anaconda. So think about it today. Do you have a favorite snake slithering into your life? You never know. Now our quote for the week is actually to kick off Black History Month, and it comes to us from Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Here's our quote. The time is always right to do the right thing. So just think about this. Everybody can do something right if they put their mind to it. It doesn't matter what age you are or where you're from, it's always time to make a change in the world. And you can make a change by doing what's right. So, act rightly and act now. Now, as we close for the Titan family, just remember, be respectful, be responsible, and be safe. Make it a great day. The choice is yours.